Oh, I need to. I need to make sure you are co-host. <laughs> Can I still do that, or do I have to unmute? Oh yeah, I've, you can do whatever you want. It's your show. Okay, so even though we're recording, I'm still doing technical work. Sorry, guys, but it's uh, December twenty seventh, <laughs> and it's been quite the week. Let's just say that we. Have... Yeah, when things get our off routine a little bit, like we didn't have the Monday night, but we got the webinars going on, and there's another one this afternoon. I yeah, taught a little bit of the laugh done. Was yeah. like what? Really encouraging stuff. The holidays and the scheduling and in-laws in town and and everything's Ooh. different and it's wow. just like I'm. I, I admittedly I took a I took a few hard emotional hooks below the line this this week. Hey Roxy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got your fun earrings on, so no one would ever know. I know, right? So I'm. <laughs> I'm covering it up with my clothes and my earrings and my, um, you know, but when you look, you dress better, you look better, right? Or you feel, or you do better. When you dress better, you do yeah, better. Dress how you <laughs> feel and dress, you dress how feel. you feel. Yeah. And so why, Andrea, you're so inspiring to me. I just think you look like the bomb girl. So you look <laughs> yeah. awesome. I'm trying and, to keep it together. And, um, dress up. If you feel down, dress up. And this morning I did not want to get dressed. Trust me. And then I thought I'm wearing these really pretty fun new earrings because they'll make me feel good. Right, <laughs> and, they, and they do. Good. And I forgot my earrings today, but you know I'm all all natural here. Loving but, your and that's color, beautiful Carrie. That's awesome. Yeah. Loving the color, the color. I yeah, didn't, I just I grabbed it. Girl, I love colors. I love colors. Yeah, so. it, you should yeah, do a whole sorts. session on colors. That'd be fun. Oh, absolutely. Colors affect how I feel. Yeah. And yeah. that's on my list of things to do for sure for this coming year because of all of my color transformation. But right. <laughs> this was my my the earrings juice, are beautiful. Yeah. My joy juice today. Kathy, how about you? What do you feel good in? Do you feel good in colors? Roxy does, I know. Oh, oh you're on mute. Like... She's on mute. Yeah. You probably <laughs> experience when you feel down, dress up, and it helps. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah. 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 I do like colors. I just don't have a lot of colors. I don't know. Oh, I think because yeah. of my work, I was always, I had to wear, you know, like the darker colors. You were missing black financial. And blues and grays for financial. So I just don't, I mean, I've got some, you know, some fun pink tops and stuff. I'm getting more right. into it. Oh. Yeah. You weren't allowed to stand out, right? You had to yeah, just kind of blend modern, in. And yeah. Let's what? talk about Truth Bomb Tuesday in January or February for you because I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. You'll, yeah. with, you know, just really adding some fun colors to your wardrobe. It really makes life, puts life. And when life. we do your, with your vision board, lady, I'm I'm going to look for all my colored pencils, colored pens, whatever yes. I got. I, yeah, I yeah. have I to have color in colored it. pens. <laughs> yes, colored pens and pencils. Yeah, she'll have a, a list of things for us to have at the session. So I have my fun color pen jar. Yeah, everybody get ready for new colors in 2024 because we're going to, it, it really is, it's, yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Makes yeah. a big difference. So loving yourself enough to live a healthy lifestyle one day at a time, gang. So welcome, welcome. You did it, you know, round of applause, including myself today and Carrie, because we were both like, what? Oh, we, we have been both, everybody, I think, again, off schedule, off routine, everything gets crazy and <clears throat> families in town and around and all that jazz trying to make everybody happy blah 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 so it's interesting how that works in your life but we're on the right bus and we know that we're on the right bus going in the right direction and if you haven't gotten this book the energy bus no right we're all on destination live it land stop the madness stop the dieting including stop the resolutions don't make them because they don't work they don't i will work. I will flip forward to this. Guys, I've been in natural health care for 20 plus years. I've, I've lost count. I don't even know. I'm bad with dates. I don't know how long I've been married. But anyway, every single year, finance, no, fitness, lose weight, improve what you eat, right? It's always in this. It's always the top three, the top five. It's, and, it, and I love that that they're all even above the 30%. I mean, fitness, finance, Physical health, mental health is on there. That's yes. like top priority stuff. Mm -hmm. And this year, now they have finances kind of moved up. Finances moved up from last year. Uh, if you look at this graph from last year, 
So healthy mind, body, and finances, right? It all goes together. If you're stressed out financially, it's going to domino affect everything in your life. But the top five are always the same. In 20 plus years as a national healthcare provider in my chiropractic practice, they're always the same. Eat better, move more, lose weight, right? I'm worried about money. It's the same, right? <laughs> it just is ridiculous. <laughs> and we think a New Year's resolution is going to help. And I just laugh. It just does not work. So in order to make any changes, we have to ground ourselves in calmness and calm Amy down that, that inner, that yeah. inner primitive brain, right, Carrie? Yeah. Um, your amygdala. Calm down, Amy. Calm down. Calm down Amy. Yell, okay. Yelling calm down doesn't help. So everybody just take a breath. Okay. We just have that hat on the shoulders turns into a big hug hug yourself self-hug self-love and i like what you're doing there amy the the butterfly kisses the alternating padding it's just it's it's the soothing but literally let's just take a minute here everybody another deep breath into the belly fill it up and shake it out if you have to whatever happened yesterday whatever happened this morning <laughs> Whatever didn't happen, that's okay. Shake it off. Wiggle the neck a little bit. Shake it off. <laughs> Another deep breath. Fill the belly. And as you exhale, just kind of blow like you're blowing through a straw. And then just bend forward a little and squeeze it out. Yeah, now just take another deep breath and just maybe stretch your arms up to the sides <sighs> Amy's gonna show us some nice back stretches there oh that feels good just looking at it my and amygdala just... go ahead yeah do you feel a difference I mean even in one minute yeah I mean how do you feel now versus before we just did a few stretches so yeah you can do this I, I know Sandy even has the timer where she does you know a few up downs yep and every 20 minutes, you could do every hour, just every time you think of it, I actually had something that came with my new earbuds because it, it knows when your head is tilted down. Really? So if I'm on my phone, it tells me, you know, if oh I have them gosh. on, it tells me it's time to do a neck stretch. Really? So it shows you put your hands up like at your ear level and push back so that your shoulder blades in the back are, you know, make a nice cleavage back there. And look up. And I'm like, it does that reminder every 20 minutes. And I'm like, again, that's so annoying. I can't believe 20 minutes just went by. Even if I do it for a couple seconds, it really helps. But then I just take a that deep feels breath. That so good. Minute. Yeah. That feels so good. That feels yeah, so I'm like, good. I need to put drawings on my ceiling to make it more entertaining to look up. <laughs> yeah. Because we're all looking down. So That, that feels so that feels so good. And here's the thing, guys, you know, like the reason why we're always in this situation and we always are working on the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result this year, you know, is because we don't have our brain and our body in sync. We don't have the inner Amy, that amygdala. We all have the amygdala. It's always on fire. She's always going, trying to, you know, and so if we can really learn how to calm ourselves down, we can get from that place of burnout, worn out to thriving, which is where we all want to be, right? And the the step-by-step -step approach is in the life book, becoming the dominant force, going from all of these places to thriving. We want you fulfilled and successful in life because you only go around once. And we want your we want your your habits of disease to get better. You know, you know, crowd out the bad with the good. We want to integrate the new healthy habits into a circle. Remember, we all the components this year. I mean, when you're taking stock of what you want to focus on, what you want your word to be for the year, really take stock of, okay, what am I not doing so hot at? Am I not doing so hot on my meal? You know, my own nutrition, hydration. Uh, am I not hitting the community time? Like Tom is back, right? hit the community time, whether it's a recording or it's live, right? Am I hitting the books to one page a day, five minutes, whichever comes first, 
um, that's all you need. And then, of course, are you plugging in with your coach? And that's essential because I had to plug in with my coach this morning. You did? I've been, yep, I did because I was so out of sync. I was like, Blah, I can't think myself out of a wet paper bag right now. Tell me what to do. Literally, I have a coach, guys. Everybody has to have a coach. Coaches need coaches. Olympians don't get to their perfection without it, right? They, they don't do it on their own. So we all and they have multiple have coaches. I mean, you can have your nutrition coach, you can have your exercise right. coach, your sleep coach, your mental health coach. Right. And Tom, you watch football, you got offensive coaches, defensive coaches, you got who knows how many, right? But we can do all kinds of analogies all day. But I had to plug in literally early this morning and go, okay, help me think I straight. I was so out of sync. Um, and so that is really, 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 really a crucial part to getting to thriving is learning how to, how to, now, even though I have been coaching this forever and, you know, well, for five, five years, January will be five years going on. Um, I still, I, I still need to plug into all my components, plug into my coach, get back in the books, um, that sort of thing. Um, cause I can, I can take a nose dive. We're going to celebrate wins in a minute and, and our word of the year, we, we might want to focus on, we're going to go through some questions and have a kind of do a little workshoppy kind of thing today. Um, uh, and, and try to come up with some real focus for the year, but you know, I, I'll go, I'll share first here for a second. Um, before I will kind of go around round robin here, but um, I, I want to share with you kind of what happened to me uh, this week. And remember this, the, the line, you, you, you're either above the line or below the line. And the only thing you can do is go and look at, okay, what happened? What did you want to have happened? What's missing and what's next? No matter what, it what it is the same questions always apply so i'm i'm going to need to go through this but you're if you've fallen into the drama triangle being a victim a villain or a hero we've got to somehow get ourselves back up to the creator challenger coach role above the line so that we're in an empowered place um oh. and we're moving we're in an empowered place and we're moving from a, we're sourcing our problems from a positive place versus victim villain mentality. Does that make sense, Andrea? Mm -hmm. Okay. She just, to, she just had an aha moment. Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> yeah. Care to share? Huh? Um, you know how I'm always used to trying to help somebody or yep. be that person for them when a trauma takes place. But it, I'm looking at this um display yeah uh, it's not a good place to be I'm no realizing, I didn't realize that I didn't realize being a hero is not a good place to be at least not for me right now yeah because <clears throat> no, my energy I, is I'm, I'm with you Andrea I'm just I'm just learning that I think I always yeah. thought hero was a good thing yeah but <clears throat> it's it's more like the put your oxygen mask on first yeah because if you're not self-care if you're not saving yourself you're you can't save anyone else exactly and if Ooh. we're always diving in always diving in and rescuing rescuing then they're not learning the lessons either right that right. we were supposed to that, that's the way i'm 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 really just now getting this too no this it's a hard year. it's a really it's hard thing <laughs> wow it's a really hard thing to figure out what you know and i because, you know, it's a good thing to be helpful and to people, but it's when it crosses the line of not good for you, mm -hmm. you got, like it, you got, like Carrie said, you have to put your own oxygen mask on first. You cannot, mm -hmm. and you can't pour from an empty cup kind of a concept. Mm -hmm. So if you're feeling at all, like you're, you're not, if you're feeling at all, like you're not giving from a place of pure love, right. but yet the obligation or you know um somewhere other than pure love and right and, do you know what i'm saying like if you, yes. can, if you can give freely out of pure love then go ahead if you can't and there's reservations and obligations and yucky sauce on top that's not you just want to say no like okay 
you know, let your yes be yes and your no mean no. I really can't do that right now. So you just have to learn your boundaries along the way. Got it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what, you know, what, what I found is that, you know, being around my relatives and all this stuff and the holidays and, you know, I'm usually gone over the holidays and, um, can you guys still see me? I'm no, I don't see you at all. Not you, but we can see the board. I see see the board. I am frozen on the screen. So, oh, um, so what happened is I felt, I, I, fell below the line. See the word there says drift. This is all in your books, right? I was drifting down because I was getting emotionally hooked. So if you look on, I looked in the, in the life book, I went back to my books and I like a good girl, page 476, the life book, I was hooked by an emotion and I, I really had no stimulus, no space between stimulus and response. And I was reacting Um, to some family members and that happened several times and you know the holidays do that to people being around you know uh family that you're not used to being around Mm -hmm. and um so then you have to you know figure out how to you know am I being victim villain or hero here and once you know you're in that icky place then you have to figure out okay coach coach help me get back up the lot up to the top help me shift back up right? Help, help me get out of the drama triangle and back into a place of solutions that come from a play, a, a good place, a positive place, a place where I, my cup is full first, and then I can keep giving. So I'm a queen, I'm a queen of codependence. And so I got into people pleasing real hard. I fell down that line really hard. Um, and people pleasing everybody, everybody, everybody. And it just really was toxic for me. I haven't slept, you know, the whole thing. So when you don't sleep, then you don't eat right. You don't work out right. I've been sick for two weeks, yada, yada. Mm. It just is a slippery slope. You've got to figure out how to get back up above that line. Does that make sense? Yeah. And, yes. and I like, and I like how it shows it that when you get to that realization, you start feeling the drift. So before you get too far down into the drama triangle, Mm-hmm. That's when you usually have to reach outside yourself. So what I heard you say was you went yes. to the life book looking for the advice. You called yeah. your coach. You had yeah. a session. And sometimes we need that. But knowing when to ask is a big deal. And so that we can. Oh, no, I, my picture has gone. <laughs> so knowing when to ask is really important and not being afraid to. And I think that's where a lot of us are like, you know, I can do this, I can do this and, you know, trudge through it. But one of the things I like to say is, you know, when, you know, who do you, who do you go to for advice and things like that? But sometimes I want to hear someone else's voice in my head, not not the same one I hear all day, all night long. So it, sometimes that just helps to, to get us out, but what? we got to know when to ask for Exit. help. Exit. Because oftentimes we don't even realize the whole drama triangle, you know, we stay above the line. But once we go below, we we change roles and we can quickly go from hero to victim and and villain. Yeah. And so, yeah, the way Dr. A explains it is, you know, all that, all that icky sauce. What they're doing is they're pushing your buttons. If you have a trigger, it's because it's still unresolved trauma to work on so then it's go back in that section of the book and and work on that and if you have whatever your coach your health coach your emotional health coach whoever go ahead and give them a call because you're not alone you're never alone and welcome mary glad you could join us welcome back amy somehow yeah i lost connection completely yeah, i don't you're fine oh okay. you're fine so we were just talking more about that drama triangle so we are glad you d- did your steps. And, and that's what Dr. And A have- does. It's just, mm-hmm. He just lays it out what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead, and- Andrea. When you're, when you're in the trauma, I mean, when you, when you recognize you're being that victim or, he- or hero, right at that moment, you can stop. You can just walk away yeah. from the situation. Yes. Just go in the bathroom, go. Well, yeah, that's your stop challenge Take too. Stop, because you noticed. Okay. And, and maybe it's step out of the room. Maybe it's take a deep breath and maybe, you know, it's 
let's, you know, call your helpline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. But any one of those things, that's your challenge. Stop, right. challenge, choose, challenge. What do I need in this moment to pull me out of this? So you can go back up instead of spiraling down. Yeah, yeah. something happens. Whatever it is, this happens. There's icky sauce going on. Yeah. What's going on? Stop. And you're not, and it's not sitting well with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And that e e even if even if you're trying to help somebody. Yeah. Because yeah. it's taken away from you. The energy yeah. is taken away. Yeah. You're not feeling good helping somebody right now. No. Right. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That scripture in the Bible. Because if you don't, it's quickly going to turn into resentment or you're yes. going to completely exhaust yourself. Or... Right. Okay. And, and, yeah. th and then, then who are you helping? Nobody. Nobody, right? No, no, a resentful, exhausted, wiped out person cannot help anyone. Anyone. Matter of fact, nobody want to be around you after that. <laughs> right? So, so yeah. your stop, challenge, choose could, you know, be in a split second in your mind. Right. It could be a few seconds. It could be a few breaths. It could be like, can we pick this up again tomorrow? You know, give me 24 hours before right. I, because I need to process something. I need, wow. to just, I need to, I need to think, right. I need to think Tom and, and Kathy, have you ever been in a place where you were resent, you gave till you were resentful and then you, you got mad at yourself. Have you done that Kathy or Tom? I'm sure yeah, I probably I, have. I can't think of an example right now, but I'm sure it's probably <laughs> happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How about you, Tom? Yeah, I have a lot. Uh, uh, especially, especially with my weight, I'm, I get mad at myself for for uh, eating sweets and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I uh, and then I think, oh, I'm not trying to lose weight. I shouldn't eat those sweets, but they're they're um, they're in my mind all the time. I don't know. Kind of kind of feels like like uh, the sweets are going to help you feel better. That's yeah. because um, that's because as we talk, Tom, you're when it's, it's always on your mind. It's an addiction. Mm, okay. it's like drugs or alcohol y'all food addiction is and, real and and look at it this way tom you can be victim and villain to yourself yeah you know if you're saying you know oh, i'm not good or why bother or i can't do it anyway or you're stupid you know whatever those things are you're saying in your head you're victimizing yourself yeah either yourself from five minutes ago or yesterday because you did that or your younger self, because you used to do that. Mm -hmm. And so really, that's, that's the icky sauce. That's, you know, the traumas, the triggers. And that's the unresolved issues. When it feels icky like that, that's when you have to realize, am I bullying myself? Yeah. Or am I really going to be forgiving to myself and saying, you know what, today's a great day to start over. Truly. And, and then you're supporting yourself. You can be in the drama triangle all by yourself. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can be all three roles. And that's what I mean. Sometimes it's nice you can be in voice in your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's musical chairs. It's musical <laughs> chairs in there going on. Yeah. But but now it's a realization, right, Tom? Now you'll notice, oh, that's what I was doing to myself. I was putting myself in that drama triangle. Exactly. Yeah. I, I can see that 100%. And go to page yeah. 476. Yeah. Thanks, Carrie. Me. 476 can you guys still hear me yes, yes 476 it says, it says okay, what four. are you feeling what's going on what do you need to do what are your value what aligns with your values what choice is going to align with your values what are your values that begs you doing a values you know uh, you know assignment what is your value what are your values <laughs> what serves you and what serves the outcome so that's where you have to go and look there um, and, mm -hmm. and you have to know some of the, you got to do some work there. What are your values? What matters to you? And what are you committed to? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Yes. yeah. And I mean, I value family. I value time with family over work. That's my order. My order goes, you know, it, it goes God, me, my, my hubby in my home, my friends and family, and then my work. But I grapple with, okay. I got to keep the work in last place. And then I'm victim villaining myself when I'm putting my family behind it. Do you know what I'm saying? Beating myself up. And that's the resentment and to that's yourself. The, <laughs> and that's, that's not going to help anybody. Yep. Got exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah.
exactly. And so, and, um, yeah, and, go ahead. Those, all the steps that Dr. A lines out, they're, they're super practical. And I was in this yesterday. I called my emotional health coach because I was put myself, I was bullying myself and I was yeah. stretching yeah. myself beyond my means emotionally. And, mm. and I needed to reach, I called for outside help. Yeah. And that the page in the life book for this is one seven one something. Uh, the what's happened, what's missing, what's next. It's uh, earlier on in the life book. I can't remember the page, but it's there too. So, and the other thing I realized, guys, this this um, that I wanted to share briefly is that have you ever seen that um, Stephen Covey, um, hmm. Stephen Covey? Uh, um, no. Have you seen this, Kathy? The habits. Of yes, we did this. Of what, yeah. I, most of us, and I spent the majority of my life living in quadrant one in urgent, important, or not important, mm -hmm. urgent, 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 emergency. This is the life of emergency. It's called the procrastinator or the yes man. If we're constantly yesing and procrastinating, we're in emergency mode all the time. We are going to just be on fire. Our amygdala is going to be on fire. We're not going to be able to think our way out of a box. We're not going to be able to start a new habit, keep a new habit or otherwise, or accomplish anything we want in life. Ultimately, quadrant four is really the slacker where you're actually just sort of under functioning and you're just, you know, you're, you're really under functioning. Um, and urgent, the, the, the quadrant you want to spend most of your life in is quadrant two. And you can Google, I just Googled this and found it online. It's from that book. I've had the book forever. I got that book back out in the, in the last month and looked at it. And don't you know, I've been working diligently for the last three years on getting out of quadrant one and three. And I can safely say that most of my life, the majority of the time is in quadrant two, which is beyond belief. I, I could never, I could not tell you that that would have ever have happened in, I mean, I couldn't even imagine it, but one day at a time with the habits of health and with um, my emotional re trauma retraining, the EMDR, um, my health coach, my habits of health coaches, I've got three of them. And um, it, I wouldn't have been able to accomplish living a life of the prioritizer in balance with high performance. Do you see that? Yeah. A, a lifestyle of balance and high performance. Prioritize your life, make important things important. I couldn't do this if you paid me. I just sucked at it. I lived a life of emergency making everybody else happy all the time. And that's why I got so sick. That's why I got cancer. That's why I got my tumor. That's my liver tumor. That's why I had my autoimmune diseases because we live in this life of urgency, emergency. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we got to, it's every, our brain and controlling our thoughts and emotions and knowing about this drift and using stop challenge shoes, using our relaxation. Um, I'm going to start talking more this year about EMDR and how to really retrain our brains to get in sync and be calm um, we're going to talk more and more about that because it's really the key to, to everything does that make sense because we, we can't we yeah. have to think straight because yeah, in, in chiropractic i mean you guys study as much of the brain as the bones yep. right i mean we're the nervous yep. system yep so. yeah. the, brain, the brain neurology is essential and the chemistry resulting and the physiology resulting is essential to understand and to master in order to get over doing this same thing over and over again expecting a different result how to you know how to get yourself out of the drama triangle below the line uh, you know all of it it's all of it so and it's, as, it's and i just thought it was interesting the more that i watched dr a and the community times how many chiropractors are out there that became health coaches? Truly. Yeah. And others, the nurse and other medical fields too, but it's like, there's a lot of chiropractors out there. So definitely the nervous really? system and settling it, the stop challenge choose is definitely a big part of it. Yep. And when I saw this chart recently, I went, wow, because I hadn't seen it in years. I, the whole world's living in quadrant one and three. Our goal is to shift to, to, to you know, to quadrant two to shift up more often than not to yeah not go from allow, drift to shift drift to shift not allow ourselves to go under be under the line for too long in order to you know really make a difference in our lives and really get what because yeah, it happens every anything pops up but then it's 
what do we do in the next couple seconds is going to make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I sent you guys all these questions. So my live on Facebook, if you can go to, it talks about, I just asked different questions. Mm -hmm. So, and I gave you a bunch of different questions to ask. You must ask different questions to get different answers and, and focus on something different other than weight, food, and, you know, exercise. You've got to focus on your purpose in life, your family, your faith, your friends, your fitness, your feelings, your fun, and your firm, and your finances. If you're focusing on the right Fs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight Fs here, um, and or the purpose questions, I, I sent those out in the chat or the text too. Th those are great questions. Um, just start asking yourself those questions. And that's where you want to focus your self for the year. Ooh. Okay. So you know what I'm that. Okay. So if you could answer the question, you know, if you had better health, how would it improve your feelings? Okay. How, how, and whatever comes up, whatever first thought in your mind, write it down. Yep. Put it in the chat or yeah. go ahead and jump in and say it if you want to, because that's your gut reaction. That's deep inside yeah. of you. If you were healthier, how would it affect your feelings? Boom. Chat or just say it just out loud, just for fun here. I would be more confident in sitting anywhere in any place. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm very uh, not com confident because, I, you know, my I have wide hips, so I'm not confident now. I always have to think. I always have to pause. If I'm invited somewhere, if I'm, if I'm you know, if someone wants me to do something or they'll be to their home I always have to worry about, well, where am I going to sit? That's the first thing I think of. I, I don't even think about, oh, I'm going to a person's house. I'm going to dinner or we're going to this fabulous restaurant. I don't even think about that. I'm like, okay, I got to, do they have chairs with, with no arms? That's the first thing I think of. And I am so tired of thinking like that. I'm just like, I have to get out of my own way. I, that's the key. I have to get out. And, um, I'm just and then hoping that's your why. That's mm -hmm. your why for now. Yeah, right now. That's it. Because like yep. you said, it's the first thing you think of. The first and, thing I think of. The first thing. I yep. was thinking of something similar. It's like, yeah, if I my health were better, I would be more fun. Mm -hmm. I would do more, more things and I would enjoy it. I wouldn't resent it because it's like, I always tell people, oh, I don't have time. Well, that's not true. I got all the time in the world, but I don't have the energy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't mm -hmm. keep up. <laughs> and so, yeah. But yeah, that's like the first thing I think of too. Yeah, I you'd have more fun tomorrow if I do that. Carrie would have more fun if she was if she was healthier. What what about how would how would it affect your friends, your family, your faith? What do you think, Kathy? Roxy, mm -hmm. Melissa. If you can pop it. Oh, we lost Tom. Yeah, I know. I'm having trouble with my connection. I can see you guys and hear you guys. Or or, or in your case where you already made a lot of changes, Kathy, and you're like more in the maintenance optimization. Yeah. Looking back a year ago or two years ago, mm -hmm. have you reached some of those? Well, if only I were healthy, then I would do, I would feel. Right. I feel like now I, I'm, I feel pretty healthy and I, you know, like, like this morning I went and worked out and I did some new things that were harder and I did it. And so now I just have to maintain that, not. And, and so how did you feel when I you did was. it? Yeah. How did you I feel when have, you did it? I felt so good. Like I did this interval training this morning and I'm like, oh gosh, I did that. I, I felt great. You did so, what this morning? Interval. Did you? Like, you know what, where it makes yeah. you go really fast and then it slows you down and makes you go, you have to do different sets of those. Yeah. And then machine controls it. Mm -hmm. And so and did I, you ever think a year or two ago that you would no. be doing that? Well, I thought I just kind of hit it by mistake. And then I thought, well, I'm going to try this to see if I can do it. And it was, I mean, it was pretty hard. I mean, it went to like a 10 level, which, you know, I'm like at a five level. And I thought, well, I'm going to try the 10 level. And I did it. So here is a cool <laughs> thing, Kathy. I love that. So in chapter 13 of the Energy Bus book, I was going to share this today. It talks about one great golf shot theory. Okay, so you're 10 today, how great you felt about it. Like, wow, I did that, right? Yeah. Think about that. And not about the fact that you didn't like getting there. It was cold outside. You had to get your shoes on. You had to, you didn't really yeah. necessarily like walking into the building all of the way along. You were not liking what you had to do to get there, but you love the tech. You love the outcome, right? Yep. 
it was a challenge and I did it. That's yeah. the energy bus. They talk about one great golf shot. Hey, how many time? how much practice, right? How many hours of putting? How many, you maybe don't like to go practice putting. You maybe don't like to practice free throws. You don't maybe don't like to meal plan. You don't, you know, you don't want to go on that walk, but man alive. Oh, that, ooh, that outcome is so good. It makes it all worth it. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Absolutely. And, and you focus on the shot going in the hole and the outcome, not the, the stuff that's maybe sucking or you don't love in between. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Just yeah, do it. And, and we're, when we're feeling down, we think of all the, I don't want to do this to get there. Right. Like you were just exactly. saying, we focus on that, and it, which literally means we've lost our focus. <laughs> yeah. Focus on the shot and the, and the win. <laughs> the outcome and not the getting their piece here's a good question and everything for- else will fall into place exactly mm-hmm. good question for kathy is that purpose um graphic i sent out um the one with the circle it says how do you find your purpose in life and i think well, that's good for you kathy right now because you're you really you know you're really dialed in on a lot of the habits of health like carrie was saying mm-hmm. you're, you're dialed in on a lot of that you're taking those to the next level for sure But maybe think about what would one thing you would love to be remembered for is? What would you say? Your legacy. I guess my kindness. I want people to think of me as, you know, a kind person and giving. Yay! I love that. Beautiful. That's great. So So simple, but it says a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now how do you want to, how, what would be, how would you like to show it? What your deepest desire to show kindness to the world? What, what, what is the one problem in the world or your community or your family that you are really passionate about, passionate about that you could use your kindness for good, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I, I, you know, I do a lot of stuff for the kind of the poor and um, I'm also kind of active with our pro-life at church. Mm -hmm. So those are two, two things that I work hard on. There you go. So there you go. And those are things that make you feel inspired. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And I like how you said you work hard on it, but it's like, yeah, you're giving from your heart. That is true kindness. Mm -hmm. Are you doing it because you want to or because you feel obligated to? Because I want to. Okay. There you go. Perfect. So your responses to those questions, it says, holds the clues to your purpose in life. And I think, Kathy, you've kind of been stuck because you said you weren't a dreamer. Mm-hmm. Your dreamer was broken. Yeah. So one of the questions is, um, you know, one of the questions is my deepest desire, my reoccurring fantasy or daydream I've had is, okay, does something come up for you? Like, say that again, my deepest what, desire. Your deepest desire, your reoccurring fantasy or a daydream you have that nobody else really knows about is to what? Oh, yeah, I, I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and, and, and that's what these prompts are good for because maybe later today you'll get yourself I'll thinking think about it. Oh yeah. yeah, that's what I want. I do wish I always could do that or something. Yeah. Yeah. Go back, go back to that purpose graphic, Kathy, because I think you're right there. You're right there. And you're on the track with, I want to, you know, kindness and you have a passion for people. Go, go with that, right? Pull the string, okay. pull, pull the string that, that that's where you want to be. Just visit those other questions. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. And, and, and I think that's going to help you true, truly, truly um, finding our purpose and nailing our purpose in life other than just being good at our career. And Kathy, you are very successful in your identity and finance and financial and professionally, you know, uh, you and I were both very successful. So how do we now, but okay, we don't have that anymore. We're, right. we're, retired. we're retired. So who do we want to be? I mean, like, really, you know, who, 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 who do we still want to be? We get, we got a lot left to give and to do. Yeah. Right. That's where I'm kind of stuck. Yeah. Yep. But you, yeah, well, like, I think that's interesting. Like Amy was a doctor. I mean, technically retired, mm-hmm. but she's still doing what she wanted. To, the reason she got into being a doctor, she's still helping people. Yeah. I'm right. still doing passion. And so are you. And so are you, Kathy. And that's so am I in a different capacity. Yeah. And yeah. you're still doing it. And that shows that it's truly who you are and part of right. you. Mm-hmm. I think that's right. beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Passion without a license. So, (laughs) 
some Roxy. You broke all my licenses. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's a grieving process to let that go. It is. Yeah, I struggled yeah. so hard to get yeah. them all, and now they're gone. <laughs> Believe me, I know. Do, I, Roxy, I, are me, you a Bakken? Roxy, Bakken what's your what 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 about your health? Uh, if you committed to something, you know, what 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 would make be better about your friends and fitness and fun and family and faith? Well, uh, talking about the word that I'm choose for this year. Yes. It, um, it's uh, I got faith. Faith. Awesome. Woohoo! Awesome. It would help me improve in many areas of my life, like my friends, myself, my family. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, that, you know that that uh scripture called the faith of the mustard seed mm -hmm. and how it only has to be that small mm -hmm. and if you keep exercising faith it grows and grows and grows, right? Yes. Like a big chia seed it plumps up. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be at three next and year. How's that gonna affect you with your family and your faith and your friends and your finances when you have more faith? Well, I think it really helped me go through, uh, you know, all the obstacles that are coming to my life. Yep. And uh, also, I will share the faith with others. Yeah, you share. Mm -hmm. Yeah, share the faith. Yeah, and telling them, like, anything is possible. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, and, and I'm really proud of you, Roxy, for... I see you doing that, you know, in the biblical sense, sharing your faith, but also that you believe in what you are doing. Yes. You know, you're exercising, you're cooking healthy, yes. you're picking to work with you. Even if the other people in the Spanish on your team aren't doing that much, you're still drinking the water. You're still doing what's right for you. And they see that. I see that. So you're keep living. going. You're okay. living your you're living your truth, girlfriend. You are living your truth. Yeah, sometimes I I feel like like I am along the line, but I said I really had to push up. Yep, push up. Yeah. I, like drift. Take, yeah. I yep. think I feel a weight and I said like, well, no, I, I I like the way I feel when I have all this energy. Yep. I have to do it. I have to I know the steps. I just have to do it. Yep. You're yeah, living. and you have to do it for you. You're putting your oxygen mask on. You're yep. you're eating right. You're drinking the water. And yeah, we all go below the line. You know, we drift down, but you shift up, and you're and I see you doing it on your own even more. Mm -hmm. And you still have coaches too, so that's really good. Do everything through the eyes of faith now this year. Everything through the eyes of faith. Hey, you know what? Speaking of Kathy, did you have a year? a word yet for the year did you i did i chose consistent and i want to be consistent in all the six micro habits consistency okay consistent okay cool i love it carrie do you have one yet or are you still working on yours no i no not yet <laughs> okay. all those other ones everyone sounds good i can't pick just one okay yeah i i've heard well, yeah different people are yeah focus someone picked focus someone picked health. i'm still waiting for a day that i can just mull it over but i have not had a day to myself yet yeah well maybe on your road trip to autovalo yeah you well, you I know road trips are good for thinking not <laughs> well full contact sport <laughs> Melissa, if she has a word for the year that'd be great to hear andrea if you think you have one um please share uh, we lost Tom. I don't know what happened, but my, I don't know why I'm not on camera right now, guys. But um, <laughs> oh, there's Andrea what's back your, on. Do you, what's you have your, a word for the year, Andrea? What's your intention yeah. word for the year? My focus. Stay focused. Focus. I have to stay focus. Just take that energy and focus on, only on me. I have to value me more than anybody else on this earth right now. Uh -huh. Well, that was a big then I can discussion we just had earlier then, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Amen. Focus. Amen. I got to focus. I got to say no. And I just, all about me, me first, Jehovah, me, then everyone else. I got to do it that way. I have to. Yep. I can't. Yep. I can't. I, I will not survive. I will not. I, yeah. Yep. 
my yeah. Yeah, that is yeah. my doctor my doctor friend Shander picked the word focus uh no um no 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 and Cindy she Cindy Spryder she picked the word focus oh, yeah. uh oh, and then Shandra Melissa my, Martin Melissa Martin just put in the chat mine is change mm. for change Woo, sounds like fun good good and, and um, absolutely and she's on it. total track for that too she's changed a lot in her life and so she is still she's still she's everything is yeah she's changing mm -hmm. everything and that's good sometimes you have to repot yourself like yeah. totally to to grow bigger and stronger right plant that pot in a new bigger pot right yeah. change everything yeah and i like that what is it the psalm one one through three the tree planted by the waters what it didn't it? just happen to be there it was planted there yeah and so yourself. that that's why an intention word is so good because then it comes from within and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. much more inspiring and motivational absolutely and and dr friend chandra she picked her word health and which seems silly because she's a chiropractor and, but she said you know what when i got high blood pressure when my blood sugar started going out of line she's like uh oh this is my health and she literally has had to beat her husband over the head with a two by four because he oh, keeps he keeps sabotaging her and she's like no you don't understand i am the f i everything has to be about my health everything and i loved her for that because she's like no you don't no don't bring home the cake i don't care if it's christmas don't <laughs> bring home you know don't bring home the thing i told you i'm the an thing, addict. yeah i'm an addict i need to focus on my health and you're bringing an addict you you know you're you're bringing the alcoholic a beer no do not do it, right? Yeah. She's taking a stand for her health every step of the way. And I'm thrilled. Tom, I'm thrilled for you. What's your word hey, for the year? Back. He's back. I don't know if he has a word for the year yet, but if you do, just share it. I love faith. I love change. I love focus. Um, oh, I can't remember what Cliff picked. Abundance, I think it was. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that'll be your homework, Tom. If you have it, you can go ahead and put it in the chat, your word for the year, or be working on it this week. Also, I would like to know if you are planning on the virtual vis vision board, what my girlfriend uh, who does it professionally is leading it for free. Thank you. So if you yeah. got oh, there's Tom. Yeah, go ahead. Um, jump in, Tom. What's your word, Tom? Well, I, I'm sorry. I, I had to leave the meeting for a little bit. That's okay. So I, I was gone for about 10 or 10 minutes. But yeah. Do you yeah. think you have a focus word or intention word for the year? Attention word? An intention word for the year? I is haven't got one. Is that one recommended? Uh, well, Kathy's using yes. consistency. That might be good for you. Consistent. I don't know. You have to pick your own. Or, or, or commitment. Commitment. Because you can be committed to yourself in so many different ways. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. I'll use that. Commitment. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and that way, you know, it's not just about sugar. It's about you're committed to yourself to be supportive to yourself, and that'll yeah. show up. You'll see how it'll show up in a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. commitment to my exercising and things too. I bet. Yeah, yeah absolutely, commitment. Um, you know, it could be something like faith or joy or peace if you want those things more in your life and run everything through that. Is this gonna? Is this choice gonna make me more peaceful? Right. It could be something like that if you want. I mean, yeah. it could be it could be anything you want it to be. And so there's some words I sent out on a graphic. So go look in there. I just want more for 2024. I love that, Carrie. Love it. Yeah. So if you were to be on a vision board workshop, and I would love for you all to be there. Um, would you prefer a Saturday morning, afternoon, or Sunday afternoon? Can everybody kind of vote? Because I'm trying to make a time that works for most people. Um, do, what would you do, Kathy? Are you flexible? Yeah, I'm pretty flexible. Okay. How about how about Andrew? You guys want to put in the chat or just say what what would be your best? I think Carrie, you already said Saturday afternoon, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, go ahead, open your mic, Andrew. Um, uh, repeat the question one more time. I'm sorry. A, a vision board workshop led by my friend virtually on Zoom. She she's gonna teach really. You or a vision board yeah oh wow i'd like to learn that okay yeah when? uh the 20th 20th or 21st of january so kathy are you gone you're gone right i'm gone yeah, yeah kathy's gone 
Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be out of town the, the, the 20th. I'll be out of town. Roxy, are you free or uh, on that weekend? Would you prefer Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon? Okay, we're going to ask to unmute Roxy because we can't hear you. Any time for Tom? That's good to know. Any uh, time? Me after one on Saturday? Yeah, so Saturday oh. afternoon also. Yeah. Okay. We're going to try to do what's best for most and especially right. our okay. regular year, but it's down to Saturday or Sunday of January 2021. So if you're out of town that weekend, it's kind of hard. I mean, but... I can do Sunday, but Saturday I have an, a convent assembly okay. to go to, but Sunday I'm, I'm, I'm open. Mm. Sunday. Okay. Or Sunday better for you. Okay. So we're going to see what's best for the majority. Everybody. Okay. Okay. And if so not, I can will you do, tape it and either. send it to us? If if not, will you tape yeah. it and send it to us? Yeah. Or no? And Tom is flexible. Yeah, Tom said anytime. Okay. All right. So that's good to know. Okay, I'm writing this anytime down. Fine. And Angela. Oh, I've got Angela Bunt. Oh no, no. Oh no, no. That's the wrong one. Okay. Oh, Brian. Yeah, because it was she could have done an in person, but it would have only been the people in Des Moines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she decided to do virtual so we can be included too. Mm -hmm. Right. As many people as, as we can. So <clears throat> yeah. And this is, and this is not specific to, you know, if you're doing Optavia or not, or happy health. Right. I or got not. it. Yeah. You can invite other friends too. Yeah. To create that a vision be, board. Yeah. Oh, that would be great. Board. That Man. would be great. Yeah, just to kind of create what you want to live into and using your word as a direction for your intention. Okay. okay. Um, all right. So that's being said, we have the, uh, then we have, of course, today we have another New Year, New You webinar for inspiration and motivation. Plug in, plug in, plug okay. in, listen to recordings, um, get yourself recharged. Sorry, I never made it back on camera. I don't know why um think about what quadrant you live in mostly you know take some time on your questions and your word if you don't have it uh and then one other thing um the new new year new year is today at three and it's also tomorrow at 8 p.m if you can't attend today at three so right. three central that'll be four eastern central. four eastern right four eastern mm -hmm. okay. Yep. And you have the links for that. Yep. So lots of going on. And, um, and then next week I'll send out, there's a recording for Monday night, but I'll probably send out over the weekend, how, okay. how, to, stop, how to stop procrastinate a video called, um, how to stop procrastination. And that is, it's an excellent. Send my way. <laughs> Mine too. It's an excellent weekend. Watch. I'll get to it someday. <laughs> I'll get to it someday. Exactly. Right. That's not funny actually not funny that's why you've got to watch it so anyways i know you got to go and it's one o'clock almost here but um any takeaways that you got any takeaways that you love in today roxy kathy thanks for playing allow andrea any good takeaways um, i love hearing everybody's word yes. uh, yeah yeah. Hear everybody's they're all different. Words. yeah yeah they're all great and i learned i can i can come above the line by just I have to stop in midway, take a walk away, take a breather, you know, go to the bathroom, and regroup, all <laughs> breathe, but I don't have to stay in that, in that trauma or drama that's going on. I could actually take a leave mentally, emotionally, or physically get out of there. Yeah. Get out of there. I'm and something that might help you, Andrea, is just think of quick things. You know, you know, what situations you're talking about, like, yeah. oh, that's a great idea. I'll get back to you. Or, Hey, can we, can we pause on that? Let me think. Right. You know, maybe just little phrases like that might help do wonders for you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. Write a few down. A few down. Okay. And and then tell me because I need them too. <laughs> I can't wait to hear yours, Carrie. I'm on pins and needles. So, Roxy, have more faith. Tom, right? Commitment, consistency, Kathy, focus. Everybody, I'm in action. I'm going to be in some sort of authentically me or truth in action, something about action. So I'm working on mine too. So uh, the 13th is a training. If you'd like to do a My Bigger Life training called Impact, and then we'll have the vision boarding on the week of the 20th and 21st. And so the, the Impact, that's a that's a paid one? Impact is a paid one. And you, but yes. And um but it is, it is a very good kind of my bigger, very, yeah, very specific. Yeah. And the 
and the vision board is vision board free paid or is she just doing that for us as a favor free. for you yep free wow free. well thank oh, you awesome. i hope it can be we've been looking forward to this yeah oh, we're yeah. gonna it's record it kathy we're gonna, gonna record it and it'll be free and then um yeah if you want to follow you. up with her or anything and have her guide you through you know making yeah it. yeah good yeah, I'd appreciate that. Yeah, the, the recording. Yeah, if I can, if I can't make it. Yes. Okay, guys. Yeah, we'll try to get a great time in, in Maui, Thank Kathy. Um, I'm Thank expecting you. to think bigger Thank with you. your purpose. Uh, and uh, we'll talk. Uh, we'll we'll talk next uh, next week on the first. Okay. Of the year. Yeah. All right. Good to see you Happy today. Bye, everybody. Have fun Love to you. Maui. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.